Josh, first win, first couple of goals. How was that celebration in the change rooms post-match? Yeah, I was really pleased. It's always nice to be able to get a win, but first win at, a, at my new club. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a while for me to get my first win in the seniors because obviously we're such a strong forward line and that stuff, so I had to buy my time there, which has been great. Tell me about your first goal. Was it nice to kind of get the monkey off the back? Yeah, 100%. It's always nice to get it done. You can sort of relax into it after that. Um, I have to give a shout-out to Sonny Walters, who's my first set shot that I had. I went back and uh, I counted a bit too much for the win, so my next one, he came up to me and just told me to take a breath and remember to kick true through the ball. So I have to give him a bit of a shout-out and say thanks for that to him. Were you aware the AFLW girls were watching on and have you seen the video of their reaction? Yeah! Well, I have seen the reaction. Apparently there's a video going around of my first one that I missed, actually, which is even funnier, because obviously the build-up and they were hoping that I was going to kick it and then I missed it, unfortunately. Oh! Did they congratulate you when they saw you or did they talk about the one that you missed first? No, nah, they're a pretty positive group, which is really nice for you. I'm sure there'll be a few ribs later on when I go to train. Tell me about your role in the AFLW space. Yeah, so um, just along the lines of marking, a bit of leading patterns and contested marking work. So um, it's really enjoyable for me to try and put some craft into it all. It's obviously easy to go out there and say this is what you've got to do, but then trying to emulate that into drills and, and look to try and coach it. It's good for me to be able to practice my skills and, and refine that. Are there a few players that you've worked alongside that maybe we should be keeping an eye out for this year? Yeah, uh, I think that uh, Anya has been fantastic this year. Her, her forward craft is really impressive, her ability to pick up balls off ground level. Now, I remember when you first got signed on with the Dockers, you had your press conference, and the one thing that I took away is that you had the best manners that I have ever Heard. Thanks for your time, first and foremost, everyone on the call. Hey, Jake, thanks for coming on, mate. G'day, Ash, how are you going? Thanks very much, guys. Look forward to meeting you in person. Do you have to put the Mr Nice guy to one side when you get out onto the field? Oh, pretty similar. A lot of people ask this, but I sort of feel like I'm still pretty jovial in that out there. Other boys on game day always put my hand out, give them a shake of the hand, and you know which way it's going to go. Either they're going to shake it or not, and it's going to be either um, yeah, smacking bodies all day or it's going to be a bit of a running race. You've um, experienced coaching from Lisa Webb and also Justin Longmuir. Are they similar kind of coaches? Yeah, definitely very relatable relationship based I find like um, yeah really want to get to know the person and, and the people around them that make them um, which makes it get, giving feedback a lot easier I find because you know that it's coming from the right place. Family is obviously one of our trademark and um, one of our values so um, the connection piece is really important to us. And I think given that you've got such great manners it's only fair for me to say thank you very much Josh Corbett. <laughs> Thanks very much for your time thank you.